We've got a beautiful little campfire down here in the mangroves. We've got a camp oven full to the brim with salt water. We've also got a little bit of a grill, knife, and that bag holds some incredibly fresh, some incredibly beautiful seafood, which we're about to cook up over this fire. There we go. All right, so yesterday I took out the tinny on its first ever run on a fishing mission, and it was, man, it was insane. We had incredible counters with sharks. We got some beautiful fish. We got some beautiful crayfish, which we're about to cook up right now. But um, I gotta wait for this water. I gotta wait for this water to boil. I'm gonna get a big bed of coals happening on the side of the fire here. So make a couple of little skewers out of these little sticks here. So while I do all this, I will um, I'll roll on that footage from yesterday in the tinny. It was an incredible bloody day. Show you guys that footage. We'll come back here to the campfire and we will make one hell of a feed. Wait till you see the size of the things we got yesterday. It was an insane day. Enjoy the footage. I'll see you guys back here very soon. Ow. Good bloody morning to you. All right, so this is the first ever tinny mission. It's the second time I've taken this boat out, but it's the first time with you guys. So welcome on board the little baby tinny. We are currently trolling a lure at 25 meters of water and um, I'm chasing a big dirty silver beautiful Spanish mackerel So if we can achieve that it's gonna be a bloody beautiful day, but the conditions look like they're gonna be in -er, absolutely bloody beautiful and um, Let's gonna see where today takes us. It looks like it's gonna be a good day ah, Fish on fish on Look at that that's fish on Woohoo! Right, oh, no, here we go that's good fish. All right, now we need to get it away from the sharks. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I come out here for. Come on. Oh, no, the sharks are on it. No, no, no. No, look at the sharks. Ah, you mongrel. Get out of it, you mongrel. Sharks all over it. Get off. Now, I've probably got a shark hook up. Oh, you're kidding. Big shark, big shark. Oh no. This was always gonna happen, but. Man. Well, there you go. We just lost a big dirty fish and there was probably about, I don't know, two or three sharks on the surface destroying the fish and um, look at that, the fish just bit through an 80, an 80 pound trace. I mean, that shark just bit through that 80 pound trace right there. So it is an ocean full of sharks, but I expected this. Let's tie up, let's go again. You mongrel, look at that. Straight through 80 pound wire, just like a little bit of butter. Incredible creatures, I tell you what. All right, have a look at this. So these marks, all of these marks here on the sounder, that's that's calling fish in the ocean. So that's like fish, fish, fish there. They're not actually fish, they're sharks. Look at that thing there. That's a shark just cruising around the tinny, big boy. There's another one down there, if you can see that. Look at them all. Get out of here, you mongrels. I just want to get a feed on the boat. Sharks everywhere. I knew this was going to happen anyway, but there's a big boy over there. Have a look at this for a bloody view, would ya? It doesn't get much better than this, does it? Cruising around, we've got the rod out. That rod is about to go psycho. Come on, let's go. Big fish coming up, doggies. Oh, woo woo! Look at it! <laughs> Ready? Just give us that. Well, there is absolutely no shortage of them. Look at them all. Hey! Good cast, straight over the pack. Come on, let's go. Come on. There we go, that's a fish. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. There's a little fish. You little beautiful thing. And I've still got this rod out. Oh, this is mayhem. What have we got here, a little Mackie? Some sort of a tuna? Oh, here he comes. Beautiful little fish. 
Oh, we've got him beautifully in the jaw. There we go. Oosh. Oi, oi. There we go. There's the first proper fish of the morning. Lovely little tuna. And I let him go. He just spat out a shitload of um. He just spat out a shitload of little bait fish. Oh, there he goes. Released easy. Look at that, mate. A little bit of a uh, morning dot colours. All right, let's see if we can get a big fish on the deck. That was just a little bit of fun. Deathy. All right, so this is the plan. I've been trolling for probably about another 40 minutes since we checked in last. Haven't had any luck. So what I've done, I've punched out. We're in about 50 to 60 meters of water here. I'm gonna drop down a super light jigging setup. This is PE two to three gear. Little 100 gram jig there and um, let's see how we go. Let's get jiggy with it on the bottom for a little while. See if we can pick up some fish on the bottom. It, um, it looks like pretty bloody good ground, so we could be in for a treat. We could be in for absolute donuts. Who knows? But I am bloody excited. That's all I know. All right, we're on the bottom. Here we go. Yep, that's a fish. Oh, spot on. That's a fish. First drop on the new spot. I just got to get it up before the sharks get it. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that's big. That's big. That's shark. Sharks, man. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh this is just ridiculous. I'm going to shallow water. This isn't a shark. Oh, it's got to be a shark. It's way too big. There it goes. Cannot get away from these sharks at all. That is incredible, man. Let's do it again. <laughs> Here we go. They're gonna get smoked by sharks, I'm telling you right now. But, we'll try. Ready? Yeah, that's a fish. All right, get it up. Oh. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gotta beat these sharks. Come on. No. Oh. oh, there's a shark on it. Oh. All right, we got it up. You're kidding. Right. There we go. We finally got a fish past the sharks. Oh, hallelujah. Woo. Oh, we did it. That is a beautiful little fish. Absolutely little rocket of a fish. Came in, smashed it. Little Trevally, he's going back in the drink. Shoo. Off he goes like an absolute bullet. All right, let's do that again. Literally, there was a shark on its ass the whole way up. You just got to pump and wind. Let's go. Let's do it again. What is that in the water? That's a fish. As soon as we hit the bottom. Oh, that's good. Good fish. That literally just hit the bottom. Now we're going to beat the sharks. Oh, come on. Come on. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Oh, get it up. Get it up. The shark's here. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Ooh! Get it up, oh, shark's got it, no! No, the shark's on it. That was a good fish. Far out. Oh, now I've got a shark, there we go, there he goes. That was a beautiful fish. Big whales at the back there. That's epic. All right. What I'm doing now, I'm going to drop down a big soft plastic. That's a beautiful jerk shad, probably one of my favorite soft plastics on a little bit heavier gear, just so I can um, hopefully just lock and load on these fish and get them past the sharks. That's the plan, anyway. 
There we go, we're on the bottom. Oh, that's a fish, straight up. Now go, get it up. Come on, get up here. Soon as it hit the bottom, that's a fish. Now we need to get it past the sharks. Oh! Come on, come on. Oh! I've been defeated. Absolutely defeated by sharks. That was another fish. You just can't get them up. Seriously? Cannot get them past the um, sharks. Ha! Oh. oh, that's a fish. Oh! That's a fish. All right. Let's go past the sharks. Oh, that's a nice fish, man. Come on, can we get it past the sharks? Come on, baby. Oosh. Get up. Get up. joking oh, I'm done I am done and dusted it's impossible to fight past these sharks they are definitely the apex predator of the ocean that was a good fish and it's gone Whew. that's hard work and that my friends is the reason why we don't get any fish on the boat have a look at this I don't know if you guys can actually let's put a pair of Otis Sunnies into the equation now you'll be able to see that shark with the polarization. Look at that. Go away, mate. No one wants you. How good are those sunnies? Link in the description below if you want to pick yourself up a pair of these bad boys. They're killer. Anyway, let's keep punching that way. See if we can get some fish because I ain't getting nothing here with old, old Joe Bloggs swimming around. Look at him, man. He's just fully just... Thinks he, thinks he owns the place. Well, I suppose he does, eh? Epic creature. So sick. I literally, I just cannot help myself, but if you look at the sounder, it is incredibly good bottom here. There's a lot of fish, there's a lot of bait fish in the water. We've driven away, way, way far away from where those sharks were, so let's just give this a run. There's a lot of bait fish, there's a lot of fish on the bottom. I'm going to drop back down the light gear, that PE2 gear. And um, it's just a lot more fun. Go on. Let's see if this we can pull a fish off this lump. Looks pretty good. There we go. Baby fish, something on here. Well, that is not what we're going for, Mr. Charlie Court. That there is a lovely little Charlie Court, but it's not what we're coming from. It is a tiny little fish. You're going straight back in the drink, young fella. If I can get you off. See ya, mate. Oh, look at that shark. I wouldn't have st stood a chance. Have a look at this shark. How are you? How are you, pal? Look at that thing. No wonder I'm not getting any fish, eh? Ha, Bob, Baba! You've got to be kidding me! We actually have a fish on the deck, and it's an edible fish. It's big enough to eat, it's big enough to keep. It's a really good bloody eating fish, and the head, the head mount GoPro just completely had a psycho wig out as I was fighting the fish. Um, but we've got it on the board. We've got one in. Past the sharks. Here he is. Look at that. That is a beautiful, 
rainbow runner. It just took a jig in 60 meters of water. Beautiful little rainbow runner there. Took an 80 gram jig. That is gonna be lunch. These are actually quite a nice eating fish. So I'm gonna quickly brain him, bleed him, chuck him on ice, and that is gonna be incredibly good around the fire. So that one is going straight in the esky. Can't believe I got it past the sharks. Incredible. Anyway, little rainbow runner. Woo. Beautiful fish. Ah! <laughs> All right, that wind is set in, boy. It's actually pretty bloody windy right now, so I'm gonna try to find a little keyhole in the reef here. And um, if I can find a little keyhole in the reef, we'll punch into the shallow water, have a play in there, because it's actually just starting to get pretty rough out here. That wind has definitely picked up, so try to find a little keyhole somewhere and we'll sneak in without hitting the reef. That's gonna be a very interesting part. Pretty rough out here. All right, this is the next mission. Well, we've made it into the beautiful calm water of the inside of the reef. It's not so calm, it's actually pretty bloody windy. That wind is fully picked up right now. So we made, we've made our way through a little baby keyhole out the back in the reef. And um, now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drive around, look for a couple of rocks in the water, chuck the wetsuit on, jump in, see if there's a few crayfish home, and um, see if we can make a bit of a seafood platter. We've got Rainbow Runner, we've got crayfish, oh, we're going to get crayfish, hopefully. So um, I'll see you guys when we're all suited up. Oh! All right, let's go. Let's jump in and see if we can add to this seafood platter. A few little rocks out here, they don't look too bad. It's very shallow, like four or five. Four to five meters, lots of little rocks scattered around everywhere. So um, let's just uh, jump in and see if we can put a little bit of a crayfish on the board. Ah! Finally got one. That took some serious time, but we've got a little bit of dinner now. That's a beautiful little crayfish. Took me about probably 40 minutes, and um, the boat is way down there. But have a look at that. That was worth every second. That's a big cray. All right, I'm gonna swim all the way back to the boat. And um, we'll get, I'll show you how big this actually is. Look at the size of it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I've got about a 25 minute swim back to the boat. It is way, way down there. So I'm gonna, hopefully I don't lose this and um, I'll start swimming back to the boat. That is a big, that is a big crayfish, man. Woohoo! That is a big dirty crayfish. It's not a dinosaur, but it's a pretty bloody good cray. That was epic. I just swam so far to get back to the tinny. Jesus Christ. 
I can barely feel my legs. I... Oh, that was an absolute mission to get back to the boat. I swam so far to find that crayfish, but here he is. We got the job done. That is a beautiful cray. There we go, we said we are going to come for a crayfish. We got a beautiful little cray. Not so little, but here's a beautiful crayfish. That's going to be beautiful on the fire. We've got a rainbow runner in the esky. That's incredible. Lovely. I'm going to put this guy on ice. Get him to sleep. Oh my god. I've got a head full of salt water right now. And it's actually bloody beautiful. Alright, so that was a mission. As soon as I jumped in the water, like literally as soon as I jumped in the water, the first rock I looked under, there was a decent crayfish sitting there and I was like, man, it's way too early to be taking that crayfish in the day. I'll, I'll let him go, swim around to a couple others. So I just gave him that little wave and left him in the hole. And then I was like, it's probably 20 minutes deep swimming around and I'm like, there is no other crayfish. I've absolutely screwed this up. I should have just grabbed that other one. Kept swimming for about another 20, 25 minutes. Made my way, oh, I was, so, I was so far down the coast, man. Finally found that big bug. He was wedged right under that rock and we um, ended up, it was actually a bit of a struggle to get him out, but we got him out and um, this is it. Look at that big, beautiful crayfish. So that's the crayfish that we just got out of that rock. It is actually not a bad size cray. So that's gonna be a beautiful little bit of a taste, little, little bit of a taster on the fire. A little bit more than a taster. That is a big chunk of meat right there. So beautiful crayfish. Put up a little bit of a fight. So we've got that. We've also got this juicy rainbow runner. So for that and that, that is gonna be an absolutely incredible little feed around the fire. So I'm gonna punch back. I've got a long drive back to where I started this morning. I'm gonna punch back. I'll see you guys around the fire. We'll cook this bad boy up. We'll cook up that rainbow runner and um, Ah, what a time to be alive. See you around the fire. Ow! I just missed the monster mullet with a bow and arrow. Like I'm talking like a massive sea mullet. All right, this is what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed that footage as much as I enjoyed filming it. It was super fun. Those sharks are absolutely next level, dude. Like. I don't even know how many fish I lost yesterday, but I was finding some really bloody good ground. I was finding the fish, I'd get the jigs to the bottom, and as soon as a jig would hit the bottom, boom, fish on, and then about 15 wines, probably about 10 meters of water. Sharks just annihilate everything. So we were lucky enough to get that one beautiful fish on the deck. Oh, we got a couple of fish on the deck, but I kept the one rainbow runner, beautiful eating fish. And um, we ended up going for that little dive, found this big monster cray. So this is what we're doing with this beautiful crayfish right now. By far my favorite way to cook a crayfish. All right, so here it is. Here is the crayfish all pulled apart into different pieces. So what I've got here, I've got a beautiful little cup, little mangrove leaf there. That is full of olive oil and some delicious, just all a handful of different spices, herbs and stuff. So that is just a little field day mix in there. Up here we have the monstrous legs of the crayfish. Also, the horns off of the crayfish hold a lot of meat. So we've got these. Look at the size of that bloody leg. It's as thick as my thumb. Beautiful, beautiful. We've got the two big horns, all of the crayfish's legs here. And then this is just one half of the crayfish. So that there what is what uncooked crayfish meat looks like. And there is an absolute bloody... Look, at that's only half of the crayfish. The other half's in the bloody troopy right now. So we've got a lot of crayfish to cook right now. The camp oven should just about be ready to go. Oh yeah, that water's boiling for days. So what we're gonna do is drop those legs straight into there. All right, so we'll get that lid off. We're just gonna drop in beautiful horns of the crayfish straight in there. This next horn, straight in there these legs they hold a heap of meat they're going straight in that camp oven as well rest of the legs boom chuck the lid back on that and just let that fire do its thing all right so here is our chopping board full of beautiful crayfish that's probably way too much to feed me that's only half of that crayfish tail like i said 
A lot of bloody meat right there. So we're gonna grab our grill plate, but instead of opening this grill plate, sticking it inside and closing it, don't do that because the uh, crayfish actually will fall through the little gaps. So when you fold it like this, you've got us crosses this way, crosses that way. That's what I found when you're cooking the crayfish on the fire. So you just place it evenly over the top of your little grill plate. All these little, almost like bloody burger patties. Look at that, little crayfish, crayfish balls of goodness. This is a little bit of a sloppy mix here. So we'll just place that there and pretty much this, just like that, is gonna sit over the coals. We're gonna give it a dressing with our beautiful herbs and spices in this little cup here with a mangrove leaf, mangrove leaf brush. And um, it is gonna be good. But I've just gotta wait for those coals to, to cull down just a little bit because that's far too hot to be cooking this delicious food on. Well, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say that these crayfish legs are gonna be well done. So not well done, perfectly done. Would have been about 15 minutes. Have a look at that. Slowly simmering now because I really, I put that fire out because I want these coals to be good cooking coals. So that is looking absolutely incredible. What I'm gonna do straight off the bat, pick it up, use the back of your knife. See how these knives got a little groove in it. You can slide that into your camp oven. A little bit of strength, you'll pick her up and we're just gonna walk it straight down to the water line. And um, we're gonna put it here open that lid up and we're just going to exchange that that hot water for cold water i also put a little mangrove stick in there when i was cooking i don't know just to give it a little bit of the flavor of the bush you know we'll fill that pot back up with salt cold salt water this time chuck him up on the bank there and then these go back in that salt water the key is to cooking it in salt water. It always tastes so much better. Look at that. Beautiful. So here is the perfect cooking coals. We're just gonna slide this little tray straight on top like that. Get our leaf. Just give them a little flogging. I'm gonna get that flavor all over. It'll make the fire really smoky. But that's what you want. You want that smoky effect. Get it all over that side. Then what you're gonna do, you flip them up. Just like this. Oh, we're looking good. Give this side a flogging. Yes, all right. This will take a little while. The fire's not boiling. It's just perfectly right. I can literally smell this crayfish from all the way down the back of these mangroves. I just went to walk. I just went for a walk with the bow, looking for those big, dirty mullet. I seen two, but you've got to be really, really stealth, and um, being quiet is not one of my strong points. If you've ever watched one of my videos, you will know that I yell a lot because I get excited and um, I'm just a loud person. But anyway, I'm going to go back in stealth mode in a little while. But have a look at this incredible! It is a perfect golden brown crayfish chunks have a look at that for some reason i don't know why but it never sticks to the pan it never sticks to this grill every time i cook it oh we nearly lost that one but these are nearly done probably about, about another two or three minutes that is going to be done and it is looking incredible yeah if you guys could smell this Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know what time it is, don't you? Have a look at that. That is perfectly cooked, golden brown, crayfish chunks right there. Have a look at it. That is, this is my favorite way to cook crayfish. If you guys are ever gonna catch a cray, give this a crack. Start a fire in the bush. It's all about that smoky, that smoke that cooks it, but that is beautifully cooked. Oh my god. Big chunks of crayfish. Wow, man. Huh. 
That is actually incredible. The, the olive oil with all those spices in it really, really just tops it off. I even put chili flakes in there and they're giving me a nice little whack in the taste buds. So, um, chili flakes was a nice idea. It's giving my mouth that little bit of a bop bop. Beautiful. That is an incredible way of cooking crayfish, but this way of cooking crayfish, the legs, these are like humongous lollipops. Look at this. That thing there is full of meat. It's probably about as thick as my thumb. And um, look, they just, they just taste incredibly good. Snap that shell. Sometimes you can pull them out like a big lollipop if they want to come. This one ain't playing the game. Just bite it. Here we go. So he's going to pull out like a big lollipop. Have a look at that. That there is one big juicy piece of crayfish leg meat. Oh my God. When you cook it in the natural water that it actually comes out of, it is incredibly good. And that there, that's irresistible. That, that is really bloody good. Once again, big lollipop coming out, Burp, bang, shell goes away, have a go. My goodness. Oh, look at this. This is gonna taste incredible. All right, so this is that big horn. This is the end, the top of the crayfish. Have a look at that chunk. <laughs> look at this for a chunk of meat. That is huge. That there is a massive chunk of meat. Mmm. Once again, absolutely incredible. Mmm, a little bit of shell. Look at that, man. Mmm. All right, this one is for all the dads out there. Father's Day is just around the corner, so as a big thank you for all the support in the past, we're gonna drop 20% off everything on the online shop. So it's a little Father's Day gift from the field day to you guys. So if you guys wanna grab a little bit of merch, 20% off everything for Father's Day is um, active right now as this video drops. So thank you so much for all the support and um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It has been a hell of a day. Yesterday fishing out there getting destroyed by sharks, absolutely destroyed by sharks, but that's fishing, that's nature, and you gotta take it when it comes. And yesterday was a sick day. This afternoon has been absolutely incredible. I am as full as a boot. I've got one little lollipop left and um, I will, See you guys in the next video. Maybe we'll have a bow and arrow. We'll be hunting these big mullet in this mangrove system. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching. Much love. I will see you in the next video. Ow! I forgot to say something. If you guys want to grab your merch, smash this button here. If you're not subscribed yet, smash this button here. Yeah, doggies. See you in the next video. That was super fun. Oh, man, I am as full as a boot right now.